All right, so now you've charged it fully, you've updated any firmware, now you're ready to exercise. So using the consumer version, I'm gonna show you what I would do. So I'm gonna just put my cuffs on, and we have other videos on how to apply the cuffs properly. But I'm gonna put the cuffs on. You'll notice these little tabs. These help keep everything in alignment. So I'm just gonna put it in between with the tabs open. I'm gonna put the cuff on and I'm gonna put it up as high as I can with this little stem facing forward. So we wanna make sure that it's facing forward. And now I'm going to tighten this as much as I can. So tighten it nice and tight, as tight as you can. You don't wanna have any slack in there if possible. And I want this to be facing forward so I can easily apply the cuff or the pump to my cuff. Now, what I'm gonna do is hit start exercise, arm, and then I get to choose my intensity, low, medium, or high. So in this case, I'm gonna just start off with low. I would recommend doing low for a week then progressing the following week with medium, and then progressing the third week with high, and then you'll just stay on high pressures. These pressures are correlated with the limb occlusion pressures found in the research to be both safe and effective. I hit enter. You can either hit previously stored, like if you had already exercised, this will remember what pressures you need, and that's why this is designed for one individual user, because it will know the previous pressure. In this case, I'm going to recalculate the number because I haven't done it yet for me. And I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna stay real still. And you notice that I'm not using my right arm to hold the pump. I wanna be really relaxed through this right arm. I'm also going to do this in a standing position because this will be the highest pressure. So the highest pressure will be in a weight bearing position. And so it's gonna take about a minute or so to calculate your pressure and then we'll be able to utilize that pressure moving forward. We always want to get our calculations both in the upper extremities and the lower extremities before starting our exercise routine. You will hear it going to its max and then minimizing and then it'll kind of alternate with a little inflation, a little deflation, that's all on purpose. It's trying to find the minimal amount of pressure required to totally occlude both arterial and venous blood flow. Then it'll totally deflate like it just did. Now it's pumping up to the pressure that you predetermined as low pressure in this case. So now my pressures are there. I can take off the pump and now I can go exercise or I could go put the other cuff on and inflate the other side. So that's how you get started with utilizing the cuffs. After I'm done with the exercise, I can either reduce the pressure by pushing this button or I can reattach and I can hit start new session and it will automatically deflate. Once I'm ready for my next exercise, I can then start exercise, choose the arm, go low, and then previously stored means it's gonna to go to my previous calculation. So I could just hit enter. It's going to pump up your cuff. And now I disconnect and I'm ready to go. So that's how to utilize the pump and Doppler when you're getting ready to exercise for the first time or even repeated bouts.